What's up guys, it's Sarah. Today I wanted to do something a little bit different. I have been getting creative at home during this self-isolation COVID-19 time. And so I'm going to make little pictures of driftwood collage things. Um, yeah, and I wanted to show you guys how I do it and hopefully you guys can make some and it will cure some of your guys' boredom. So this is how I made my DIY driftwood pictures. So the first thing I did was I went and got a pen, a ruler, and a measuring tape as well as some durable cardboard that I could use for the back of the portraits. Next I'm measuring out 10 by 10 squares and just drawing the outline so that I can cut them. You can adjust your size to however big or small you want them. After that, I went outside and I got an X-Acto knife to cut the squares. All you're doing is tracing the lines you drew with the X-Acto knife. You do wanna make sure they're clean cuts because you will see the sides of the cardboard. You don't have to use cardboard, you can use wood, you can use whatever you'd like. So after I finished cutting all three squares, I laid out all of the driftwood I had. You're going to need quite a large variety of pieces of wood. You probably won't use them all, but it's just good to have a lot to choose from. After I laid out all of the wood, I started placing pieces onto the cardboard just to map out what it looked like before I actually started gluing. That's when I realized it would be kind of cool to have some shimmer. So I went outside, found some sparkly silver spray paint, and I started spray painting some bigger statement pieces of wood to put on the portrait. Again, feel free to make this your own. You can use whatever color you'd like. Um, I just had silver, so I went with that. And I do have a lot of grays in my apartment, so I just thought it would match well. While I let those pieces dry, I went and plugged in my glue gun, so we're ready to go. So after I finished laying out my portraits and figuring out what I wanted them to look like, I started gluing the pieces on. One thing I noticed is the pieces that you originally had there might not always fit and you will need a lot of small pieces to fill in the gaps so just make sure you keep that in mind. I definitely think I was using a bit too much glue. Um, I used about five sticks per portrait but just make sure you do have enough so I would suggest having at least 15. This part was really fun but it did take me a long time so you might want to do it at a table where you can sit down. I'm doing this product over a few days just because it takes a little bit of the time. But yeah, I have two finished so far. This is what they look like. As you can see, I did end up spray painting more than just the big statement pieces. I thought that it would look cool to have a little bit more silver in there. Some of the smaller pieces I just dabbed with spray paint. I didn't spray them fully, so it still gives that rustic wood look. I'm gonna do the next two tomorrow probably at my apartment. I love that this literally took no effort. I just had to go down to the, the lakefront and grab some wood. And I love driftwood. I think it looks, it's such a cool look. I'm really excited to put it in my apartment and have a little piece of the lake in my apartment as well, so. Okay, we're now at my apartment. I just finished my third portrait, so now we're gonna hang them up and they look really good. We actually ended up hanging each of them differently. This one I'm doing here was the portrait with the heavier statement piece. So we had to um, make sure that it was gonna stay up. So we put some glue in the holes to make sure that this little thing was gonna stay in there. I got my mom to help me measure them to make sure there was enough space in between them and that they were centered properly on the wall. You can place them however you like, whatever looks best on your wall. 
So we hung up the pictures. I'm not gonna show you guys tonight. Um, I wanna show you guys tomorrow when the lighting is better, but they look really good. So let's fast forward to tomorrow morning. So this is the finished product, guys. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. If you do end up making these, please send them to me. I would love to see them. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and share it with your friends. And I'll be back next week with another vlog. Bye!